PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria Women's. It's Calder United versus Geelong Galaxy United. My name is Teo Pelizzeri. Joining me in commentary is W League player and uh, Victorian star, Alex Gummett. We've had three junior grand finals this morning here at ABD Stadium and early in the afternoon. Building up to this, the senior PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria Women's Grand Final, the inaugural grand final of this new competition. And we're underway. Pickett plays the ball to Adriana Taranto. What's the delivery like? Flashing over the head there and nearly connected with Karaya White. Adriana Taranto through ball. Spranovic leaves it for Pickett. And again, Caitlin Pickett stretching the call to defence and bidding across with a crunching challenge. Absolutely freezing that afternoon too. Heidelberg United getting the better of Bulleen. Al heading on to Alonso. Return pass. It's Jess Al. And it puts it over the bar. Just could not dip it in time. Taranto. Over to Ma. Taking on Vlanich. Skips past. Now, wide to the right. Raya White, burning past Meyer, crossing in, Pickett! Caitlin Pickett has scored for Geelong Galaxy! Great cross into the area, and they'd been threatening to do it for the opening half an hour of this match. Caitlin Pickett thrown into the starting 11 of a grand final, and the teenager has put Geelong Galaxy in front. What a great finish there, composed by such a young player. But that ball win was absolutely spectacular, and it was a great run there from Annabelle Martin to cut through, play it through to Karai, and then just, as you see there, just a great finish, very composed, and, and I don't think the keeper had much chance there. That's half time, and Geelong Galaxy United, their run through finals appears to be continuing. They've got one hand on the trophy at half time. Calder have to find some answers to be able to unlock this Geelong defence because right now the game is really on Geelong's terms. It's Calder United nil, Geelong Galaxy United one. The American, of course, really enjoying a stint in Australia. Spranovic through ball, it's Pickett once again, and a loose touch brings Mason Jones into the equation to make the save. Meyer there to clear it away. Well, what an opportunity. Caitlin Pickett, the goal scorer, very nearly had her second there. Yeah, definitely. There needed a bit more composure there in the finish. You see, um, just as she takes an extra touch there. It was a great ball there by Spranovic through, and, uh, and uh, I'd like to have seen her at least get a shot on goal there. What's Vlanich got in store? Looking to curl it to the near post. It's broken the hands of Quinn, and Keisha Meyer has scored the equaliser for Calder United. It wasn't pretty, but it doesn't matter in a grand final. You've just got to put the ball in the back of the net. An indecisive touch there from Keisha Meyer, and it just rolled agonizingly across the line. And Kelsey Quinn has hurt herself as well in the process. She stayed down, and there's quite a bit of concern here from her Geelong teammates as we watch the replay here. Alex Gummett talks through the goal and speaks for itself. Yeah, look, I'd, I'd like to see Kelsey Quinn do a little bit more with that, but unfortunately uh, couldn't quite deal with it. And, and Keisha was on the, on, the, on the front foot there and is able to put a goal in. Annabelle Martin's getting forward here. And wants to take Koja on. Two victory teammates from summer. Martin. Hurdling through, body checked, and was it inside the penalty area? No. They've both landed inside the box. Replay will be telling here. Yellow card for Tyler J. Vlanich. She's saying, who me? Alex, talk us through the replay. Oh, well, it was quite, quite close to being in the, bo in the box there, but I think uh, I think the referees made the right call just, just on the edge of the box there. But I guess... <laughs> Let's, let's look at the feet. That's a penalty. You think? That, that's in the area for me. What a close call. Very tough decision to make. The decision was made to play all four games on the main pitch to give the juniors that big match experience of a grand final. Perhaps appreciating the chance to do so. Now Martin finding White. Crossing it in and Komiak with a high boot there on bidding. See how sore Barilla was there. Just didn't even go in for the ball. Crossfield pass is a dangerous one. Martin with courage wins the header. Left prone. 
to Bridie Siri, looking for Papadopoulos, and this time she's got the space. This is the chance for Calder. Papadopoulos with the ball in, and Quinn Holmes at the near post. That was a chance there. I was hoping for a better ball in there. Um, but uh, Quinn safely holds this one. We're into a sixth minute of stoppage time now. Meyer. Whistle in the mouth. We're going to extra time in the PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria Women's Grand Final. Until it was a while ago because the lights are now starting to take effect. Siri trying to attack. Ball deflected out to the right. Call to still a danger here. Tate guarding Siri. Across to the top of the area. Ends up Barilla trying to control the bouncing ball but can't. Clearance only as far as Siri once again. Murphy's got to be careful. Cut back. Barilla! Enzo Barilla puts Calder United into the lead. Calder 2. Geelong Galaxy United 1. Enzo Barilla, what a player of the, of the women's Victorian game here. She's been a legend and she's definitely got that sort of spark that can change a game as you can see here. Well, the persistence of Bridie Siri. She gets the assist. You can see there, Kelsey Quinn got a hand on the ball, but just too much power from Enzo Barilla. Ball runs underneath Siri, and look at the pace of Alicia Newman. Newman breaking into the area, wants to cut back onto her right foot. Alicia Newman shooting it straight to the keeper. Mariah White stops the ball going out. Attack stays alive for Geelong. White crossing it to the back post. And it's just wide, agonizingly close to the equaliser. And Lulu al connected, but did not score. Oh, I thought that was going in. What a chance for Geelong. Alex, the replay says it all. Even from the replays, it looks like it's, it's, it's heading for that top right corner there, but unfortunately couldn't quite direct it on goal, but again, great ball there from Karaya White. Ortiz through the left side, Alvin Can she redeem herself? No! Into the side netting. What a chance again for Geelong and they're almost out of time here, but they're continuing to create opportunities. Ball to the top of the box, Jensen holding it up. And now the shot comes in! Hits the woodwork! Well, they couldn't have done much more. Chance after chance after chance. And Lulu Alhanadi has hit the crossbar. Finds Koja again. And now Siri can hold the ball up. Tay's there. Siri loses her footing. Tay. Adriana Taranto. Martin. To Boulderston. And now Vlanic. And Vlanic guides it into the path of Brighty Siri. This is to seal it. It's Siri one on one. And it's over the bar. That was the chance to put it to bed. Whistle in the mouth. Calder United are the PlayStation 4 NPL Victoria Women's Champions for 2016. Well, there we go. Annabelle Martin is the player of the match, but at least she gave absolutely everything today. The president, Kiwan Taliadoros, about to hand over the Champions Cup to Cole United. 2016 is their year. come to mind after the game but look we did give it our all and that's all we could really ask um, credit to Calder they really put away their chances and yeah it was just a really good overall game that unfortunately we didn't come out on top this time what was the injury you suffered we, we were worried it could have been broken collarbone or ribs but uh, yeah ribs just, I think bruised just I think G must have headed me somehow somehow I got above her in the ground but yeah, just feeling a bit groggy, really. A little bit unlucky, probably, the, just after half-time. Had a couple of good opportunities to score, and then, obviously, in extra time, had a, had a couple of opportunities. But, 
going from last week 120 minutes to this week doing the same and, and pushing them all the way home. I can't be any more prouder of the Bills. Do you feel like you took some, some calculated risks with the subs and when you made them and who came on and who came off? Yeah, look, we were pretty comfortable in that 90 minutes. We were we didn't feel like we were threatened, we were, so we, that's why we didn't basically make any changes and we thought we, we can leave them a little bit later like we did against Alamein. Um, yeah, so that also helped us with some fresh legs there towards the end. To be honest, like it just happened so quickly. Um, when the ball went in the back of the net, I just ran to the club, to the people on the bench, and it's the best thing in the world, especially in the extra time. It just means the world to me. Both yourself and Jess have been best on ground in a losing grand final, and now here you are with a winner's medal. How much better does that feel? I'll take the winning medal any other day than the best on ground. It means so much more to the girls as well. A lot of us have um, played in grand finals and lost, so it's really good to get one. What about this group in this year? What makes it so special? Uh, no matter what, you know, we go a goal down and the girls keep fighting. Um, they want to win, and they're a great bunch of girls. And what about you? Where does this stack up on there? I mean, you, you've done a lot in football. I mean, you've won the National League. How does it feel to win the State League? Ready yeah. to retire. I'm happy to retire now. So, nah, I, I mean, that's always something I wanted to do. Um, you don't know how much longer you got left in the game, and it's always something. I wanted to win a, a trophy with my club, so I couldn't be more happier. I knew we knew Geelong was going to come, so uh, so we just tried to set up the way we needed to. They probably pressured us a, a fair bit. Um, it caused us a few problems, but they the girls were amazing. The way they dug deep to get the result in the end and then to hold off in that last 10 minutes was hectic. It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. What does it mean to be the inaugural champions? Um, it means a lot, but for these girls, a lot of these girls have been here and just missed out. For them, it's more important that they've been able to do this in front of a big crowd um, on a big stage. Um, but yeah, I guess it's great we're in the first WPL.